What is going on guys, boy Trent is back with a video and Ole Miss picked up two huge transfers today in the portal. First of all, with redshirt sophomore right fielder Ethan Grau came in from Tulane. And then second of all, Anthony Corbeco, first baseman, came in from Northwestern, which has one more width of eligibility. But let's talk about Ethan Grau first. So Grau in 2022 hit 404, 49 hits, 9 home runs, also 35 RBIs as well too. That's all pretty good, pretty impressive stats. But I do want to talk about this right quick. Now, yes, I'm an Ole Miss fan, been an Ole Miss fan my whole entire life. But I do watch Mississippi State sometimes on TV, watch them on my phone. And I know many Ole Miss fans, you know, watch them too. You know, too in the end, see how State's doing. But I remember back in the first part of the season, this was sometime back in February, might have been back in March. I forgot what weekend it was now. But anyway, there was a weekend when Mississippi State traveled on the Tulane, and this was, once again, this was back in the first part of the season, and at this time, State was still ranked in the top 10. And I remember watching some of these games on my TV, watching them on my phone, and I remember watching this one kid over and over again. And, you know, sometimes, you know, you watch these kids in person, you watch them on TV, and some players just really stand out to you. There's some kids, you say, like, hey, I'll never forget who that kid is. And this is a situation with me. The kid impressed me that much that weekend. I said, hey, I'm never going to forget who this Ethan Groff kid is ever again. Because that weekend, he had a super good weekend versus State. I'm just going back and look at the stats now. He went 6 for 9 versus Mississippi State. And I forgot what game it was. Uh, I think it might have been game 2. might have been game 3 of the series. There was one of those games, one of the extra innings. Uh, I think it went into like, 10 maybe 11 innings uh but there was one inning he came up the bat and had a walk off home run the beat state one of those games and actually uh the, the ball hit the scoreboard the ball bounced back inside the stadium but the ball did not hit the scoreboard that ball would have went easily over 400 feet maybe 420 if not more uh really don't know but I can't really explain it to you, but the kid impressed me that much just watching him a couple games that weekend. Uh, just a very good, consistent hitter, always getting hits, always getting singles, doubles, even had a home run or two that weekend as well, too. Uh, but this kid also missed part of the season this year. I think he had some injuries. I think he missed maybe the last month, month and a half of the season. Um, so this kid could have had more home runs, could have had more hits from what, just from what I've kind of seen, but... Uh, but I'll tell you right now, I'll be absolutely shocked if this kid's on a starter for Ole Miss in 2022. If Kevin Graham comes back, Graham's be the left fielder. If Justin Bench comes back, Bench could be the third baseman, could be the center fielder. And then with Groff now coming in, to me, I think it's kind of pretty obvious, pretty clear. Uh, Groff should be the right fielder for Ole Miss this year. If he gets beat out, I'll be surprised. I'll be shocked. Um, I, I just don't see nobody beating this kid out. Uh, this this is how high I'm on how high I'm on this kid. Um, I'll go ahead and say this. And you can you guys can mark my words right now. Uh you guys can screen record this. I don't care. Uh but I will not be surprised if this is our best hitter next year in the 2023 baseball season. That is how high and how impressed I was by this kid just watching him this one weekend. And now going back and watching his highlights through the entire season, I'm high, I am not high on this kid. But also, let's talk about Anthony Correco now. Came in from Northwestern, plays first base. Now, I will say this as well, too. This is kind of an interesting stat many people may not know. Now, back in high school, and he has done this somewhat in college, too. Don't have the most experience. Uh, but he actually did play some catcher and also played some right. Uh, he's also a right-handed pitcher back in high school as well, too. Now, I'll be honest with you. I don't see him playing catcher at Ole Miss. I don't see him playing uh, as a pitcher either. Uh, but there is a chance. I, I don't say a pretty small chance. I don't see it actually happening. But there is a pretty small chance he could possibly be the catcher. And uh, now I know Hayden Dunhurst was drafted. He may come back, may go pro, who knows. But anyway, uh, the catcher position also a question mark for Ole Miss as well, too. Now, just my opinion right quick, I think it's going to be Calvin Harris. Could be wrong. Who knows what's going to happen. But 
Um, but who knows? I mean, you, you really never know. But I, I still believe just kind of quick thoughts, quick opinions. I do believe Carreco is going to be the first baseman for Ole Miss. But let's talk about his stats right quick. So when you look at his stats, um, had a pretty slow start in his career back in 2019, 2020. Um, hitting below 180. Just had a bunch of strikeouts, a bunch of ground out, a bunch of pop outs. Just not, just not a good start. Just plain and simple. But in 2021, really picked it up, hit over 295, had 44 hits, nine home runs in 2021. And then this year, in 2022, even took the next step. Hit 325, 63 hits, 13 home runs as well, too. And also, I will say this. Now, he's also a switch hitter as well, too. Um, now, you will see him bat from the right-handed side uh, the most often or more often than hit on the left side. Uh, but that's a good thing. I do like the switch hitters who can hit on both sides. But uh, Coeco is more comfortable on the right side. So I will also say this as well, too. Um, he is also a all-Bid 10 first baseman selection as well, too. And also, you know, just watching his highlights, uh, the kid has power. Uh, I'm not saying the kid has Tim Elko power, uh, but the kid still has power. I mean, even just looking at his stats, had over 13 home runs this year at Northwestern. The guy can easily hit the ballpark. Uh, I've seen a couple of his home runs, hit over 380, 400. So the kid has power. Uh, maybe not quite Tim Elko power, but the kid's still pretty strong. So has tons of power. Um, I think there's a pretty good shot that Coleco is going to be the first baseman for Ole Miss next year, too. Um, but to me, I mean, these are two huge pickups all on the same day, all within. I think this is like, in like within 30 minutes apart of each other. Both these guys announced we're coming to Ole Miss. So, hey, this is pretty huge news for Ole Miss. And uh, these guys should both have huge season for Ole Miss in 2023. And I uh, should both be starters. But anyway, I'm pretty excited, pretty pumped up about both these guys coming into Ole Miss. So uh, that is all I have for today's video. If you could please feel a like, comment, and also subscribe if you haven't already. It would be greatly appreciated. You guys have a good one. Your boy Trent is out. Peace. Tidy, tidy.